Hello and welcome to Modern Toy Fair News, the weekly show that talks about toys. My name is Michael and I am joined by my co-host and YouTube wife, Jamar underscore games. How are you this week, Jamar? Oh man, despite the hiccups, I am doing great. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, I, I, yeah, not a whole lot. I mean, we've had tragedy strike between your internet cutting out and me screwing up the intro three times, but we're finally here. <laughs> Fourth takes a tar- charm. I'm pretty sure that's what they say in Hollywood. So we're we're on it, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's what all the big producers say. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the way it works, if you are new to the show, we break down the weekly toy news that we've deemed worthy of your time. And then we do our weekly purchases and send you on your merry way. So we're going to start off this week like we do most weeks. And that is with McFarlane. First, we got a video of Todd talking about which everything he has planned for spawn but specifically the new comics he's launching for spawn where he shows off what looks to be new spawn action figures of gunslinger spawn and redeemer spawn and in other spawn news though we got inbox photos of the mortal kombat 11 12 inch spawn figure along with him teasing a new violator figure prototype on instagram with the caption i believe it was new violator toy anyone which sounds really fucked up when you think about it uh meanwhile walmart put (laughs) up a variant of the dc multiverse unchained armor superman and up on their website with a set ship date of march however it's not orderable and there's no images, so I'm not sure if it's a mistake or if there's actually another one coming. It would make sense if there was. Um, but, I mean, while we're on the subject of superheroes and giant armor getting a variant of their action figure, GameStop did put up full pre-orders of the DC Multiverse Golden Hellbat for $24.99, releasing in April. And last up for McFarlane, we got official images of the upcoming My Hero Academia 12-inch Midoriya, which is available for pre-order on Target.com for $39.99, releasing in April as well. So, a lot more than we got last week, but I, I know we, we might as well just address the, the you know big get for you, and that's the, the 12-inch Midoriya, I feel like. Well, surprisingly, the Gunslinger fucking spawn is like what has my eye dude this is awesome like really awesome i I mean i've never really shown a bunch of interest into like the spawn figures but man i hope this didn't mess up what you were thinking as far as like what you're going to talk about out of all of this massive amount of news but when is this coming out when can i (laughs) pre-order it when can i get this figure (laughs) I, I, unfortunately, I can't answer any of those questions because literally all he <laughs> did is it, it, they were just shown on the screen during the video. He didn't acknowledge yeah. that they're new figures, but they clearly have the updated articulation to them. And yeah. it's just kind of like one of those things like how during his live videos, you can basically just stare at the background and five, <laughs> find six new figures that are becoming out this year. So it, it's kind of up in the air. I have to assume he's going to announce them soon since it's Toy Fair month. Like. I can't imagine yeah. he's going to wait too long. Or he may even wait till Comic-Con at this point because he doesn't really – he drops things every week. So he doesn't really need to overwhelm us with a bunch of stuff. Right. I mean, I'm fully buckled up, ready to go for that figure. Um, but, yeah, as far as the 12-inch, I don't see a picture for it, bro. It should be in there. Let me oh, go. man. I, but while you look for that, the 12-inch figure is interesting enough. And I do love me some My Hero. But – Hmm, that's pretty big. Yeah, I mean, twelve inches is is big. It's gonna definitely take up a lot of real estate. But <laughs> I feel like, oh no, it's not in there. I'm surprised. I feel like that yeah. wouldn't stop you. So, here's that's what... true. I mean, depending on the cost, that would be something I'd be kind of interested in. Now, I do have to admit, normally when I joke around when they say McMartin was like fifty fifty for like their figures, as far as like some could probably some you know you never know what you're kind of gonna get the figures that i own the my hero ones are the ones that are kind of a little shaky just mainly because the scaling's really off like midori is the same height as all might just kind of weird but also like he kind of looks a little weird his face is not quite perfected and his hair looks kind of odd but you know what it was only like 30 bucks so all right that's one i think it was like 24.99 yeah so i don't complain about it now a 12 inch do we have more detailing does it look better? That's my question. 
Uh, Which is why it's important to see that actual Well, photo. it'll be in the drive here in like 30 <laughs> seconds, okay? I, yeah, I yeah. found it, and I realized apparently when I went and was reading all the stuff about it, I read it, I typed it up, didn't save the image at all, so <laughs> there's that. <laughs> no, uh, that's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Just something that's near and dear to my heart. It's okay. I, I just intentionally wanted to, you know, make it difficult for you. Give me that suspense. I mean, I guess I could have just simply done a Google search and found the figure myself. But... Yeah, that's that's way too much effort to expect from my co-hosts. I mean, you're just talent. You don't have to do any of that. That's my job. <laughs> this should be sure. uploaded now, so. This I... is pretty sweet to be. I'm looking at it as of right now. Um it is still like the more statue design is what I'm, mm -hmm. I'm picking up from it. But like, I see these cool statues all the time and I can't remember like the brand whoever makes them, but they're like a hundred dollars plus like 150, 179 or whatnot. And they really look cool. This is something like a cool piece to have. And it actually looks significantly better than the figure itself, which is a little bit of a bummer. <laughs> but, so I could be interested in this, but we don't know. You you don't know. Oh no, you said thirty nine. It's thirty. It's available right? for pre order right now. Ships in yeah, April, right and it's thirty nine ninety nine. So I mean, you get for double the price of a six six a six inch action figure, you're getting actually less than double because I think those ones are like twenty five at some places. Yeah. But I mean, you're getting a, a statue which looks decent quality in my opinion. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's a great alternative if you're not trying to buy one of those like eighty or two hundred dollar like high end statues. If you just want, yeah. if you want, as Jamar would say, representation on your shelf, <laughs> your shelf then this is yeah. kind of the perfect option. No, you're not. You're not wrong at all. This one, I would like to see it in stores. I'm assuming it's going to be in in stores. I I would imagine point, if if right? they have it up on their website there's probably like a 75% chance it'll end up in store because realistically anyone who pre-orders it from the website is not going to get it anyway um, <laughs> based on just history of Target right, and pre-ordering right. in the past year. Um, so but, I'll, keep a, I'll keep an eye on that. That's one if I see on the shelf, I got those, you know, gift card or something like that. I might just actually take a stab at that. So you just have to keep watching and see if I do end up with it. Yeah, well, we'll find not out you. if it makes it actually into his weekly purchases instead of just in his cart. <laughs> I will say about the. Uh, oh, go ahead. No, I go ahead. I, I, what I'm saying. I was just gonna ask you, just conversationally, what did you think about the Batman? That's actually where I was going anyway, so that works okay, out perfect. That, I figured. <laughs> um, so I, I'm, I didn't really care enough about the Hellbat Batman to begin with, with the red mm -hmm. and black version. So a golden red version does even less for me. I'm, I'm more shocked this is going to GameStop, is or is available at GameStop because I assumed the gold version would be gold label and be Walmart exclusive. Yeah, that's that is actually kind of interesting. Yeah, because that's like that's gold like their staple gold. Yeah, but wait, wasn't the the all gold? Am I am I making this up in my mind? The all gold Joker from Asylum? those weren't gold; those were bronze. Oh, that's right. That's Remember? right. Remember, because we made fun of the fact that hey, that's who wants right. a third place prize, guys? Like <laughs> that's that's true, huh? That is interesting. Yeah, that that, that really it's stuck a, out that it, it's available somewhere other than walmart i figured gold label it, their whole thing is like how can we incorporate gold into this figure to make it exclusive right. to gold label that that one's pretty like in yeah, your we... face and they didn't do it so that confuses me on uh, right there um like can't wait to see the gold label hellbat where he's just literally all gold oh yeah they'll get rid of all the red and it'll just be all 100 percent gold like just dipped right in gold paint I, I'm more curious to see the variant of this unchained armor Superman if it do, if it is real and it's not just a mess up on Walmart's website solely because the uh, Superman in armor already is a little weird to me because yeah, it's obviously. Superman. I mean, yeah, unless unless we're talking like his space suit from like the animated series or something, <laughs> right. it, it, does, it seems a little unnecessary. Um, but I'm curious if it's gonna be gold label and be gold or if it's actually going to be oh. like a different color scheme or like maybe slightly different or something but uh, regardless the hellbat and the the armored superman were super popular when this line first started like everyone was looking for those and like i feel like even if they are gold versions it's still something cool for those people who liked those uh versions yeah or even if you just missed out and you don't want to or anything like that 
True. Uh, I mean, it would suck to have to go with a all gold Hellbat versus the cool black and red one, but I guess <laughs> beggars can't be choosers to some extent. <laughs> Yeah. Well, this is definitely going to be a developing story for us is, with McFarland. Oh, yeah. Like, Everything here is, is, except for Everything the last one. Just like, yeah, <laughs> that is true. Like, but, yeah, like, I'm interested to see more about like everything that we just heard from. So that's, yeah. I guess that's how McFarland news works for us. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's either gets leaked or you see it in the background of a video. And right. then you get like a blurry ass image of it. And then you get yeah. official images of it. And then it just randomly goes up for pre-order. Or they'll announce the, when it's going to go up for pre-order. Like, there, there's, right. it's the four stages of hell, essentially. <laughs> uh, moving on from McFarland, though, we have Mattel, who showed off official images of the new Masters of the Universe Origins Deluxe Wave 2 with Ram Man and Clamp Champ. Both are listed on Amazon.com, but have no price or date available yet. I... Obviously, <laughs> Nate would be the guy to be here for this, but those of names course. alone, I'm I'm, I'm know, enjoying man. this. Ram Man and Clamp Champ, like I love it. This is some love it. '80s WWF characters right here. Like this is some <laughs> shit Vince McMahon would have came up with to be villains to face Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I didn't have much understanding of like the Master of the Universe lore, and I still don't. But I do love the naming scheme of all of their characters. And I could understand why being a young child when these were coming out, it was so easy to just like identify with the character and be like, I want Ram Man or Clamp yeah. Champ. Like, of I course, do it. That's like genius. It makes it way easier for parents because instead yeah. of having to like give your parents some weird name like Juggernaut or or Izuku Midoriya. Oh yeah. Mom, you, you, you go... <laughs> make sure you get Midoriya yeah, for me. <laughs> yeah, so like if you don't have like you don't have to give them something like that, it's literally just simple Ram Man, Ninjor, <laughs> Clamp Champ, uh, Skeletor, like they all have names that are clearly what they are and are yeah. super simple. Like you you can your mom can go into Walmart or Toys R Us at that time and be like I'm looking yeah. for Clamp Champ and chances are they'd be able to figure out what the fuck you're talking about. Uh That's but uh, unlike uh, Midoriya, who I had to take his first name out of the story because I couldn't figure out how to pronounce it, uh, <laughs> which would be significantly harder for both your mother to pronounce, but also for her to fi have the employees figure out what's going on. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Smart marketing there, and they love to see it just keep going. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's brilliant. I, I, I can't argue with it. Uh, but unfortunately, we do have to move on from Mattel to Mezco who announced oh. their toys fair at home itinerary. So Friday, February 19th, which is today, if you're watching when the video goes up, is previews day slash night. Except for there's not really any previews. It's literally just a pre-order at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Black Spartan Krig figure that we kind of talked about a little bit a week or two ago. Um, it is going to be their toy fair exclusive so if it's something like if you liked the red Krig and you want the black variant, make sure you're ready at 1 p.m. Eastern time because I would guarantee this will last less than 30 minutes if you're lucky. And that will only be because the site will probably crash so many times that it takes 30 minutes for them to sell out. Everyone to sell out. Uh, however, <laughs> that's not where the toys fair at home my itinerary ends we have day one which is saturday february 20th we have the super soldier giveaway at 11 a.m eastern standard time we have reveals starting at noon and every hour on the hour until 5 p.m eastern standard time and then we have the approach the roche giveaway at 6 p.m eastern standard time and then day two is february 21st which is sunday we have the Bonehead giveaway at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have reveals at 12 p.m. And then every hour on the hour until 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then there's the Mo Money giveaway at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then finally on day three, which is Monday the 22nd, we have the Set Sail giveaway at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And reveals once again starting at noon and every hour on the hour until 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then it ends with the Cape Crusader giveaway at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, it wow. 
this is yeah this is it's not it's a lot to unpack but it's not a lot to unpack um yeah so theoretically we're gonna have obviously it's not gonna all be 112 because they have other lines like the mezit line and their weird like big head little body action figures and the living dead dolls so they have like four maybe five, they also have the their version of the reaction figures so they have five lines potentially and we're getting okay. one, two, three, four, five, six, six to seven announcements every day. So theoretically, I expect five of those to be some sort of 112 collective announcement. And people are speculating because at the New York Toy Fair at home, they did a poster and it was a street in New York and a manhole cover was kind of lifted up and there was a turtle hand popping out. Well, now, for the reveals on day two, it ends with a pair of swords emoji, which people are speculating is them teasing that that's going to be the day they announce that they have the Ninja Turtle property and what they plan to do with it. Um, I, We've talked about this back and forth of, of <laughs> yeah. what we hope it would be versus what we kind of yeah. want it to be because we don't want to have to invest in a fourth Ninja Turtle line at this point. Right, right. As much as I'd hate it, I do want it to be 112 collective mm. just because I I I want it to be something where it's them doing their version of the characters. Maybe give it even if they give us something like what was in the Injustice video game. Like okay. they had the DLC yeah. with them where they still looked like a little bit like the movies but still kind of co- like comic book esque. They still had like the the wraps on their arms and legs and the the pouches on their belts and shit. They weren't very simplistic of designs like the the movies were. That's yeah. that's what I want, and I will 100 percent drop eighty dollar, eighty to a hundred dollars each to have those, oh, um, unless yeah. they have the weird seamless bodies. Then I I probably won't because that's gonna creep me out. <laughs> I mean, I'm 100 percent interested into this, and I'm actually off this weekend, so I think I'll even try and tune in on Sunday just to see like what's going on with it. Um, I it's it's scary for me only before first let me like get the good out of it. I absolutely love this company that I have never heard of uh, before doing this show is now potentially doing something turtle related. And I always say like my favorite thing about collecting turtle stuff is getting different renditions or different interpretations of what the turtle looks like. And that's not even just figures, but just in comics and like art and just all that good stuff. Cause there's so many like different creative ways that you can, make the turtles look like you don't have to go with like the traditional like eastern layered like style so i'm really 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 interested into this it scares the hell out of me because if it's something really cool man like i don't i really don't want to like have to shell out this much for mesco i have not envied you and your um acquiring (laughs) those figures but like you said even if it is a weird like seamless version it could be weird but it also could be really cool you know like i'm envisioning in my head that it would look like what was the figures that they had like i think there were wrestling figures where they kind of like snapped like the bendums i think you're what you're talking about i think there were bendums i, I i'm going off of a child oh wait no no bone thing. crunchers okay yeah yeah so they, they were you, like, you, 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 it's like you'd snap their bones yeah yeah, like that that would be a cool idea. I mean, I guess that's literally what the seamless is. I, depending on the material, if for some reason in my head there's two different scenarios that come out if it's seamless. One, you can like move their skin. I don't know why that why they would do that. That's what I picture when I think of Mesco, because all the figures have like cloth, you know, mm-hmm. clothing and stuff. So they'll just make the turtles the same way, but they have like green skin that you can move, which would be weird. The other one would be like a mode with the seam or with the joint and stuff inside of it. So you may lose articulation a little bit. I don't know how that, that works. I'm talking out of my ass when I, I don't have any Mesco figures of seamless or anything like that. But if it is that way, that would be cool to just have these figures that look almost statue, like mm-hmm. that are like posable. You, you get what I mean? Yeah. Plus you'd have like cloth bandanas, you know, the leather straps on the shelves, depending on how they, do the design I'm, yeah i'm kind of interested is basically what i'm saying <laughs> I, I i will say this they they don't there's no need for the seamless bodies because the turtles wear elbow pads and knee pads which already hide the Fair. articulation for the most part look at neca uh-huh. look at super seven though like you can still technically see 
where the seams are and the elbows and stuff where it does it but for the most part it hides it versus like a marvel legends figure where you see that giant ass like hole where the peg oh, is oh yeah so you don't need the seamless body necessarily but i think the only thing that's giving me hope that it won't be that is the fact that they're doing predator who also is oh, mostly right. naked and he's not a seamless body from what we've seen he's going to be a, just a plastic body with just parts on it that are going to be soft goods um i well i my second hope just because i want because you you love random things and like obscure things i hope yeah. that they decide to do living dead dolls of the turtles so you have to buy four of these creepy little baby dolls <laughs> <laughs> um you know i'd be into that if they're like spooky creepy you know let's we'll see i mean i i have some weird ninja turtle stuff that were just you know not necessarily made by any line but just like people crocheted and made stuff so it, mm -hmm. i would be interested i don't know we'll see how far my obsession goes <laughs> either way we got sunday is it a specific time slot or just throughout the day it, it's really, every hour on the hour starting at noon um yeah. so it any of those Out, could of, be that I do want to say outside of just like potential turtle related stuff, this is actually really cool. And I like how this is set up. Mm -hmm. um, it, it almost gives me the idea of like, like E3, like, yeah, I like where you have a set is. schedule. Here's when this company's going to be doing their stuff and this company yeah. and so on. Like it is kind of nice. Have that. I like that. I, I really hope that more, or if this is going to be something that like all the toy shows or, and stuff happen it's not going to be that case but this is i really like this that's cool i think it's gonna be hit or miss just because hasbro already has weekly like live videos they do yeah. so they're just going to continue to do like big live videos I super seven gonna... same thing they do live videos or they do interviews to like do stuff um yeah neca is pretty lazy they're not going to invest any money in videos okay. they're just going to drop things on twitter randomly throughout the week um it just gives you more fanfare yeah, I feel like it has to be excited, and I don't even know why. So, you know? so I will tell you this: it's not gonna be as exciting as you you want it to be, because literally, what's gonna be is every hour in the hour, just gonna drop a couple pictures of whatever it is, no dates, no nothing, and then you're gonna be like, "That's cool," and then you're gonna wait for an hour for the next thing. So it seems exciting on paper, so it's brilliant because it gets the hype going. But in reality, yeah. how it actually ends up being, I I'd almost rather them do a thirty minute video like Super Seven does and show things off or or go as far as like tamashi nations over there across the pond in japan they mm. do a virtual tour through their booth they build their booth and set it all up and then you can click and it like goes through it like some google maps shit like it's insane that's that's impressive yeah but what you said is a hundred percent the way you describe this is a hundred percent e3 or any playstation or sony's like announcements it's just trailer 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 and then you're like oh my god i'm so ready to buy these games and you have no clue when they come out yeah. so <laughs> no 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 dates i nothing. love that hype yeah i love that <laughs> hype so let's let's do it let's do it Mezco. oh man <laughs> all right so moving on from mezco super seven put up a new version of the creature from the black lagoon reaction figure he's available on super 7.com for 20 dollars, but that's not all super seven did this week much like last week when we talked about how they put up Wave 1 of the TMNT Ultimates line on Big Bad Toy Store, they are now doing a variance, or version 2, of Thundercats Ultimates Lionel, Panthro, and Mumra. All three figures are available for the duration of the pre-orders for the Thunder Tank, which is until April 2nd, 2021. Uh, Mumra is going to ship in summer 2021 while Lionel and panthro will ship in fall of 2021 so these aren't going to be like the ninja turtle ones the ninja turtle ones we got charged a week later after those ones went up this is going to be a legit pre-order where they're going to make more so this is going to be made to order except for it's going through big bad toy stores so you're not paying it up front and then you have the actually i think they're available on Super 7's website as well. I think I saw someone order them on there, but uh, yeah. it's advertised as Big Bad Toy Store, so that's where I would suggest for for now. Uh, Mumra is listed at $60, while Lion-O and Panthro are listed at 50 each. So, I know you're excited about this because you've yeah, been yeah. kind of slowly getting back into wanting some yeah. Thundercats stuff, and <laughs> now you can get the main guy. You can get Lion-O, who was a part of Wave 1, and, and super hard to get now. Yeah, I, I already went in and pre-ordered uh, Lion-O, 
I think I might do Panthro as well. The just to clarify, because the Mumra, this is the uh, this is jacked Mumra. This isn't yeah, this isn't the, the mummy version. Right, right, right. Which I prefer the you know mummy version. The version, yeah, it looks cooler. Of it. Yeah, so I, I think I, I think I might end up skipping out on like that if that's last of sorry truth on the cat fans i hate to you know offend you but yeah i'm i'm super excited when i saw this and you guys like shared it into the group i was 100 percent all over it so i just went on big bad toy store and threw it in there i was like hey it'll i'll get it someday yeah <laughs> i mean i mean the the good thing is that because this is super seven chances are they'll stick to that time frame because mm-hmm. it's not like a like a mcfarland figure where you're pre-ordering it and then you have to wait for it to eventually ship and then it gets shipped right, to right. them and then to you where it seems like super seven is kind of partnering with big bad because like i said a yeah, week after a good, yeah. the wave one of the, the turtle line went back up mm-hmm. my extra raf charged and shipped and is on its way to me so wow that's that's the fastest around. i think i've ever had anything move that wasn't uh a item that's been sitting on their their shelves in a warehouse yeah. somewhere <laughs> Yeah, because when they actually have the item in stock, they are quick. Oh, yeah. It's, it's usually shipping. like in a day or two. And then, yeah, as long as you do the correct shipping right. and don't do that $4 shit, you'll get it pretty pretty quick. Just get rid of that. Just get rid of that. But, yeah, this is this is really exciting. And, you know, I, I'm sure we can discuss this just briefly. But I know you guys, you know, scalpers or collectors who collect for reselling are a little bummed out. But I love the idea of just getting the fans who want this the products that they want like get them get them the figures like Mm -hmm. why force them to go third party i appreciate it and i don't know if that's offensive to you mike but (laughs) no i as far i I love this i think this is great i because i've made it clear on here i don't like value collecting i feel like if you're collecting these hoping that they are worth money of any action figure not just these then you're you're missing the point of collecting you like yeah. even if you're inbox you're collector wrong. you're still you'd still be collecting it because it's like i love ninja turtles and you'd put it on your shelf and appreciate it versus being like i just don't understand the idea of like i need to have something that someone else doesn't it just seems a little elitist to me yeah. um i but so i'm excited that super seven is pretty much sticking it to the third party market they are doing it more comic book style with this whole like slight variation which they didn't, I couldn't find anything on what the variation in yeah, these I, is. No, yeah. But if it's anything like the Turtles, it'll be something so minuscule that it won't matter. But it'll matter enough that your original version will only lose value because the people who just want the figure to have the figure won't give a shit. But people who are sure. like, I need the first print will still want it. So it might lose, it might go from like Lion I think was going for $200 when Super 7 like stepped in and was like, don't buy these. We're working on a way to make this available again. So, realistically, it might go down to like a hundred dollars, which still theoretically, if you pay, if you bought it at retail, is double what you paid. Oh, so, sure. it's not the end of the world. But I'm all for it, and I hope other companies follow suit because, despite what people think, you don't need your items to be rare for them to sell well. I, I mean, Marvel Legends, one of the biggest toy lines out there, they pump figures out like no other. And there's never a time where it's like, except for like the MCU movies, just because it's a more niche crowd for the figure collecting. When you do the actual like comic book style figures, those ones always sell well. And even if they do like warm the shelves, it's only for a couple weeks to month max. Yeah. There we go. Don't have to be exclusive. Exactly. <laughs> uh, speaking of a company that needs to learn this lesson, though, and is uh-huh. actually started doing better, NECA... Yeah has started their teases this week for Toy Fair with Back to the Future 2, Doc Brown. What looks like a new Ash from Evil Dead was teased, ironically, on Ash Wednesday. (laughs) And a Toonie Terror shark from Jaws. No pre-orders, no dates, no prices yet. These were all just teases. I already know, because we talked about it a few weeks ago, that you have to get this Jaws shark for your father-in-law because you were you were wanting <laughs> to get him in the NECA line and now they're giving you a cheap way out no nah, dude this is all for me this t- <laughs> I, love, I love 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 as much as i love like NECA's figures and like we'll talk about like the doc brown in a minute because the accessories with mm-hmm. the the money oh my oh my god 
Uh, but I love their tune line. Like I absolutely, I, I just adore it because it's, it's not the opposite of what we get because it's not like ultra realistic, mm -hmm. but it's just it's still like realistic. But it give I don't know. It's just so fun. It looks it's like so it fun. like like we always talk about. It looks like you'd fit, you could fit it in with your Scooby Doo toys. Like it's yeah. it's wacky <laughs> and cool, and it looks like it was made by Hanna Barbera, and like it, it just it's so cool. I love it. It has like the little blood and <laughs> the second row of teeth, like. This one's going to me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Not I'm even going to buy two. It's just it's straight up for you. <laughs> we'll see what I can do. <laughs> I, I will say with the Jaws shark, when they first dropped it on their social media, I was very confused uh -huh. because they had talked about how they were trying to figure out how to make a big in scale right. shark. <laughs> yeah. But uh, as I saw this, I'm like, wait, this is for their ultimate slime. Like that does not, <laughs> that's not a very good rendition of this shark. Like, and then, it, and then finally, I, I I read into it, and I'm like, oh, it's for Toonie Terrors. That looks so much better with some context. <laughs> yeah, I like the Toonie Terrors. I, I I'm not that much of a horror fan to go crazy and just want to complete this line. Mm -hmm. But if you are and you like this fun like look to it, they're first of all they're pretty cheap, like considering like comparing it to like the Ultimate's line, and they're just so fun. And the boxes all have like great box art. So if you're inbox collector. Or even if you just want to take it out of the box, they always have like little cutout things you can do, like cool with it. it it's fun line, fun line. I, I adore it. Yeah, sure. they definitely have some really cool ones, and they even have the ones that aren't necessarily part of the Toonie Terror, but they have like the Ace Ventura, the Toon, yeah, which and then is the really cool in that style. Cartoon, yeah, the Back to the Future cartoon Toon figures kind of even look a little bit similar. Yeah, as they, well. they can fit in just because they're so yeah. wacky that there's no like set scale or shape or art style right. to them. Um, but so, like you said, speaking of Back to the Future. This Doc yeah, Brown, though, with the, the, the thing full of all the money from all the different, like, decades, I'm like, this is so cool. The fact that they include this doesn't shock me at all because it's NECA. Right. But I'm just, I, I'm i like, damn it. I don't want to have right, to get I this don't, line. I don't but I want it. This. I didn't even do a Back to Future 1 line. Like, I don't need this at all, but I do want this. But this is shaping up because... We looked at the we had the Marty before mm -hmm, with the, with the translucent, you know, hand. translucent hand, and then now this. I might just do a Back to the Future two line, but it makes me feel weird not doing. It, but I I don't care. They're, they're killing it with this, so I'm excited to see that. Oh, Nick, you just you love they, they, they've just got ways, Mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, as far as yeah, Ash from the Evil Dead, though, I uh -huh. I do enjoy at least like the TV series version of it i didn't really care about the movies as much um mm. but just based on the accessories that they're teasing here i'm like okay i might get this regardless just because i mean these are some badass Fun. parts that i can use for other things worst case scenario <laughs> right <laughs> i figured the accessories would kind of get you as well if they're saying that um of course buddy of the show wes i know that's like ash is, is a, he's a fan of that so i wonder if he'd be kind of intrigued into this as well i guess jake probably likes it as well because he likes anything bloody and dark so <laughs> um, yeah it's good stuff. yeah i dig yeah, it i'm excited to see what all it comes with and the actual figure itself uh mm -hmm. hopefully we'll get more from all of these soon ish but it's hard telling if NECA. uh <laughs> moving on though we actually talked a little bit about this last week boss fight studios showed off even more images of their popeye figures with renders of Popeye, Olive Oil, Bluto, and Castor Oil. Uh, no pre-orders yet. Like, still, it's just you know set for later this year. I I am confused because my inner, I was under the impression last week that Castor Oil was the baby. But now apparently right. it's this weird middle-aged bald man who's really short and stout. Is that her dad? Or unless it's their baby grown up. I don't know. I'm, I'm so confused at this point. We don't know enough about Popeye lore. Yeah. But, yeah. Or maybe, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe it's her dad and she names the kid after the, her dad. I don't know. Or maybe, <laughs> wait, 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 we talked about last wait, last week how I was like, Popeye just seems like a dude who's like trying to babysit this kid, but isn't very good at it because he's trying to get in her pants. Maybe this is the dad. Um, maybe this is the baby dad. daddy who's just not really in the picture. Or even if he is, Popeye doesn't give a fuck because he's just there to get some ass. <laughs> Dude, this when we write this like Popeye, maybe this would be better suited as like a comic, a little short story. Oh no, this is gonna be like an HBO Max special. 
<laughs> we gotta figure this out. But these are this is definitely still cool. I would like to actually see the the figure still, like to see that. Yeah, actually know, see like the the, the full rendering. thing rather than just digital renders. Yeah, but it's it's shaping up to be something funny for sure. <laughs> At least just from our. Oh yeah, I mean, we're, by the end of this, this is gonna be like Pimp Day Destro. We're gonna have to own it because we made our own little story, and right. it's gonna be a part of the show forever. It's very true, but yeah, I'm I'm so confused when you said Castroy. I'm like, yeah, we already know that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh no, there's just some tubby short man who apparently is also named that. He does look a lot like the child. So. I know. I mean, they're both bald and have a, a big nose, so. Maybe it is just the, like, like you know, fast forward 40 years and this is the child. Or it came back in time and he's like, Dad, I need you to fucking do a better job at protecting me. My life's shit. <laughs> or maybe you shouldn't pick a fight with the giant dude. It was sad to growing up without you. Bye -bye. <laughs> <laughs> you got murdered. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Daddy wasn't there. <laughs> Oh, okay. oh shit rounding out the news though tamashi nations put out solicitations for the new sh figure it's goku eating scene set and we saw this on display at their last event back i think it was december or november and me and nate just awed at it for 20 minutes this set features a table three chairs assorted dishes of food stacks of empty plates bottles and bowls it will also include a new face plate of him stuffing his face and hands for him to hold chopsticks and I assume other utensils. It should be out in July of this year and will be around $35. I'm all for this. Like it's so me awesome. and Nate talked about this and the fact that like, that's kind of Goku's thing. He beats people up and he eats a lot. He's, he does, he's not right. a very dynamic character. So we've already got beat, beat people up, Goku. We need eat a lot, Goku. My only complaint is I have to buy two because the first one doesn't come with enough food. Because if you watch the show, you know that motherfucker doesn't have any room on that table to see what the tablecloth looks like. It's covered in food and dishes. <laughs> this is like one of those things that even though I'm not like collecting this line, I just, I adore because when, if someone ever asks me like, why do you collect, you know, action figures or why do you have this? Well, first shelf representation, you got to show off things that you love. Right. But the second thing would be because it's just fucking bananas. <laughs> like, <laughs> the fact that this exists, it's just amazing. Like it's absolutely amazing. I, I love everything about this. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it was already kind of speculated. Like, is this real? Like, is this, yeah. are they actually, cause Tamashii Nations has a long history of showing us things and being like, look what we are going to make. And then it just never sees the light of day again. And a lot of people just assume that's what this was going to be. It was something clever yeah. that they made for their show. And they didn't really have any intentions to, to do it. But they did. Like, and it's it's literally turned the sub versus dub fandoms against each other. Oh. Because... Like the 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 as if it wasn't already a war. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> but the, like it's even more of a war because before it was like okay, they they it, it didn't affect the toy world because okay yeah. the toys don't talk so you you don't get the Japanese or the American voice actors involved. Right. But in this case, I like I saw insults such as people who don't like this or people who are rock the dragon and uh, some other oh, what was it. There's another reference to like the Americanized version of Dragon Ball Z. And uh, I'm just like, I feel personally attacked because I really want this, but I, I'm I'm Rock the Dragon. Like, I don't get me wrong, the <laughs> Japanese theme is pretty catchy and I, it gets stuck in my yeah. head, but that dragon, dragon, rock the dragon, like that was my shit as a kid. So um That's what it like that was that was one of the things that I fucking downloaded and put on a CD back when LimeWire was a thing. So <laughs> <laughs> that that like that was such a great intro song and i just feel personally attacked but yeah like people were like this is stupid no one fucking wants this and then like the people who are like all for it with subbed are like yeah finally some like wacky goku shit because it's always just yeah. him being all like grr i'm fighting people so yeah. like it's it's funny to see people argue on facebook over goku coming with some fucking food and i'm just like one <laughs> who the fuck cares if you don't want it right. like 
it, it's just not like it's it. taking a slot from something else. They don't do waves right. of figures. They just ship shit out when they want. And half the time Aquaman tries to steal it. So like, <laughs> I, 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 just kinda, I was like Aquaman. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, hit, yeah. Poor Gohan. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, I'm all for this and I, I'm a dubbed child. So like rock the dragon and all that shit is here close into my heart, <laughs> but I still want Goku just shoving his face full of food on my shelf. I agree with that. <laughs> but that is it for the news, which means it's time for Turtle Watch 2021. What? <laughs> that was exciting. That was and this is actually a real. I say this one. You better fucking show some excitement. This is the best Turtle Watch 2020 or 2021. So for sure, for sure. <laughs> We only have one story this week, but it's great, and it is the official images of the Target exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series Turtles in Disguise box set. And along with that, Randy responded to a tweet saying these will hopefully be out in a month or potentially later, I'm assuming because Chinese New Year, Uh, and you get a look at all the accessories they come with. You get some, you know, nice, like, shots of them with the diorama and, like, pose and stuff. If I wasn't already drenched from this set, <laughs> I, I'm going to have to, like, replace the carpet at this point. <laughs> it's oh. 100% damage. When you move from that place you're at now, they're oh. going to fill up the carpet and see <laughs> years worth of water damage or wetness at the bottom. Man, this is not getting my possibly, deposit back. <laughs> right. This is possibly the most exciting NECA announcement that I've gotten. And I was like into this because it was weird, but it is so perfect. Like it legitimately is perfect because you have the disguise masks, which are creepy as hell, just like yeah. they originally were. And then you also have like these cool like like 90s 80s like like cool like accessories with like i just love everything about this the pizza looks cool skateboard the boom box like everything all the accessories just just just, just give me this now that's all i can oh do. yeah i'm just, I'm just I, the sooner I, the better at this point weird like sweatpants jeans looking things <laughs> like oh my god man i cannot wait my only issue that i'm gonna have with this line is how do I pose them? Do I keep them in the disguise? Do I leave the trench coat on? Do I do? I, I don't know. Like I'm, I, I literally don't. Know. Right. That's my problem too. Like I, I have double problem because originally I was like, okay, maybe we'll get lucky and they'll include the angry heads. So that way mm-hmm. I can get rid of my original set. Nope. No angry heads. Nope. So now I have to keep the original set, but yeah, these come yeah. with a second set of heads on top of that, that are kind of like puzzled and like, and like, I'm, Yes. you're confused and i'm just like okay that's even cooler so i'm okay with it but it does come down to okay do i leave these in the trench coats or do i put them in my sewer just hanging out with like the happy right. faces it's it's so completely it's, almost like i have to buy two sets and i don't want that to happen <laughs> right well one i would be just i guess hopefully lucky that we get one i mm-hmm. love the idea that he's like Jimmy, uh hopefully out in a month or later yeah so all right i'm I'm good with that but yeah i'm I'm almost like if i take these out of the trench coat right i think i might just put the other figures away like the other line i i don't know like or do you take the trench coats off these ones and put them on the old ones so you get the angry turtles running around with the trench coats and then you get the happy turtles hanging out with the pizza and like the skateboards and shit that you might have just nailed it you might have cracked the code right there because this the 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 alternate faces the f- happy faces or i guess these are not really the alternate because the other ones are alternate. anyways you got the happy faces those do sit like fit well with the aesthetics of like you said skateboard pizza mm-hmm. hanging out so you might be right on that one strip yeah. them down throw that on the the gers yeah Gers. i think you got it the gur faces yeah um what's the i can't read just maybe it's because like the resolution of like the photo but what's the the red thing the sign that says what can you see it uh yeah. red sign in which picture are we looking at it's in the one with all the accessories and everything it's right next to the pigeon like the little oh the little pigeon. book thing yeah um let me see if I can pull up the original image real quick because yeah it's, it's hard enhance, to pull. Enhance. oh i think it says the hare and the tortoise 
Yeah. I think that's what it is, yeah. That's okay. what it is. That's cool. And... So oh my God. Yeah, it's the hare and the tortoise. And then also, yeah. if you notice, I'm 90% sure that's Pigeon Pete next to it. Yes, that's I just as I zoomed in, I'm like, whoa, okay. This is exciting. God, yeah. this is exciting. I will say the one thing that I am a little upset with, and this is just my my O C D talking. Mm. So we already have a president set of what the pizza in this line looks like because we do have oh. the original set that had the pizza box with the pizza and the slice, and this does not match that at all. Like yeah. I, I can I can give a pass to the weird like anchovy and whatever the fuck else is on it pizza because that's a little wacky, but the normal pepperoni <laughs> one is kind of bothering me because it yeah. doesn't match the original style that they did and I'm like ah oh, god damn you, but I kind of like this one better though. It I don't know more... man because the, the droopy slice with the cheese hanging off and the hole so you can put some like ref the... sigh through it like. Yeah yeah, you're right you're right. Oh, oh man, well I mean think of it this way, it's New York City. There's all kind of different You're not pizza. wrong, yeah. You know what I mean? So you got dollar pizza, you got... <laughs> this is their little Caesars versus, like, the other ones. <laughs> yeah, Papa John's? <laughs> For, like, a, a pizza place, but I it, I can't do that off the top of my head. But, yeah, man, I can't wait for the frustration, the sorrow, the happiness. That's what I'm, I'm hoping we go through here of, like, ah, when is this coming? Oh, no, we're never going to get it finally we got it i will say this I though i as much as i'd love to have the surprise look on your face like we did with metalhead of mm-hmm. me getting it and being like but i've got a second one for you and go full oprah with it <laughs> unfortunately i don't see that happening just because with these being a hundred bucks i don't know if i can sit on a hundred dollars <laughs> for a few days until <laughs> we record <laughs> <laughs> right right I, that's fair that is fair yeah that that uh, uh but yeah I had good bit. luck with the the musical <laughs> tour. I fucking hate saying that. Um, I have really good luck with those. So hopefully, we'll see. I mean, yeah. So far, the only set I haven't seen in person is the current one, which is mm-hmm. Vernon and Rat King. Granted, I haven't been actively looking for it, so there's a good chance that may have, they may have got it, and I just didn't go to Target that week, so they sold out. Right. Um, I have to assume. That hopefully they wouldn't reverse course after Splinter and uh, Baxter yeah. of getting like six to twelve each to go back to only getting two each. So yeah. let's let's fingers crossed that uh, they stick with that kind of new method. But so, that is it for Turtle Watch twenty twenty one, which means it's time for weekly purchases. Jamar's favorite segment. Yeah, this week not so favorite. <laughs> Um, yeah, a lot, and we had a little winter store storm, so I haven't really actually been to a store since, like, last week, so. That's, that's reasonable. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. I mean, it could what be worse. Got? Um, so, I mean, I didn't leave the house for any, my stuff came to me. Um, uh, well, I guess. So, uh, what winter storm or not, that wouldn't affect me. <laughs> what's, it, what, what's the internet? How do you Yeah, work? exactly. Like, what? What? Well, um, I, real quick, before you go, I did, re- before you, you know, go over your purchases, I do have... Since my, um, I finally got my, my Spider Man, right? Mm-hmm. My Miles Morales. And that was like my running complaint, right? My new one now. So, when the fuck am I going to get my Ellie, my Nidoroid? Oh Ellie? my God. <laughs> this was supposed to be shipped out at the end of the year. Oh, We're man. two months in, so it's been, it's been three months. So, that might be my new one of like, what's up? What's happening? Okay. So it means so. we'll get it in June, and then I'll finally not have to deal with you bitching about that until you pre-order something else that comes from overseas. I'll just keep track of that. Just so you oh know. God. Anyway, so as much as I don't like to support Ringside because I don't believe in some of their practices, they okay. had a sale this dipping week. Hmm. I said dipping your toe back into. Um. No, not necessarily. Uh. So they do these like accessory sets. And I've been uh, eyeballing them for years because they scale with everything else. That's 112. And they work really well. But I've got a coffin. Uh, <laughs> and it actually like opens and closes. Um, and then I got a stretcher. Oh, oh that's a perfect fit. Actually. Right? And then good. like yeah. this piece, you push up and it goes down. So it'll fit in my WB Slambulance. <laughs> um, 
These I got solely because they were running a sale. I think it was for Valentine's Day. And I was like, all right, fuck it. I'll finally pull the trigger. I was going to get, there's a, there a wheelchair set, but I was, it was this, the prices got a little too crazy with shipping. Like shipping mm -hmm. doubled for having that one extra item. So I'm like, I'll stick with these two. Um, then I got my second figure arts knockoff figure. And I will say, not as impressed as I was with the first. Um, so this one is made from a different company called Kong. And it is the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. And he's like, all oh, got his like shirt yeah. torn off. And it's a really cool concept, but wasn't done very well. Um, the joints are pretty iffy. The paint is pretty iffy like there's even like on some of the plastic you can't really see it on camera but mm -hmm. there's like bubbling almost so i i it's not like a, apparently like quality isn't very good with these commonly apparently but the issues mine has with like some of the paints like rubbed off and like the bubbling and the plastic isn't normal so i did reach out to the retailer i got it from and hopefully I'll either get a replacement or a refund because it's it's definitely even even at the poor quality it's at the fact that it's fucked up makes it even less. Um, yeah, but that hurts. I did staying on with uh, figure arts discover a guy on Instagram who does <laughs> custom blast effects. Like I'm pretty sure he 3D prints them and mm -hmm. like adds color and stuff. So I've got a purplish pink blast effect oh that's cool and the one that really caught my eye the special beam cannon oh that's cool yeah so these are really solid um if you want a closer look at them i literally just uploaded before we started recording their review of those two so go and check that out but that's all i got for weekly purchases um so I guess that means that it is time to remind you about our giveaway uh, <laughs> for week like 70 or whatever week we're on at this point. No, because we haven't been a full year. So like week 30. Um, essentially the way it works, once we hit 350 subscribers, we will give away a first place prize of the NECA Ultimate Metalhead and a second place prize of the Extra Large NECA Musical Medusian Tour Box Merch Box Bundle, which includes an Extra Large T-shirt, tote bag, souvenir ticket, backstage pass and four guitar picks all you have to do real simple go to instagram and or twitter find the giveaway post share or retweet said post with the hashtag modern toy fair 100 step two subscribe to our channel real simple i will alliterate as always can't be on your fleet can't be on your story because those go away after 24 hours and i'll never see them again so i not going to go through and check daily to make sure you are entered. So make sure it's on your feed. I will say Twitter is the easier route because all you have to do is click on our Twitter page and it's the pinned tweet. So you hit retweet, type in Montoy for 100, tweet it, and you're done. Obviously, aside from subscribing. But right now, I think we sit at 227 subscribers. So we are inching our way to there. We've got what 223 left sir so, no 200 123 left okay. math is hard yeah. um so let's get there and then we can give some stuff away and then who knows maybe we'll give more stuff away down the line but uh we got to get through one giveaway first before we start any others but right. that is gonna be it for this week's modern toy fair news make sure to follow us on instagram and twitter jamar tell all of our wonderful fans about why are you a gamer well as I say every week, except the first week of every month. <laughs> yeah, why are you a gamer? And like I mentioned, I guess last week, if you missed out on this, it is making a important shift in the career of me, mine <laughs> to YouTube now. And I'm starting my own channel, getting everything together there. And guys, I just need a little bit of hope. I know we just asked for some subscribers and he's giving away cool shit. I am not. However. I just want to get a few subscribers in here just to get it going. Um, I have a new season coming up soon. And then Michael is going to be so gracious to edit this cool thing so you can watch my <laughs> uh, old last season. But then also we're going to have some fun, fun stuff, gaming related reviews, reacts and replays. 
So if you're interested in the video games, which you probably are because you collect toys and we all love the same things, uh, definitely hit up my YouTube channel, which I'm assuming Mike is putting in the, the description below. Yes. I didn't verify that last time. I did add it to the, the news right. now. Yeah. I'm just going to give it a cool little bit.ly short, short, uh, short link since I don't have 100 subscribers. Is that cheating the system? Maybe it is. As long as it works, who cares? <laughs> That is true. Until you're going to feel Resolve real dumb when you do that, and then you can't actually get that name on YouTube, so it changes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cross that road when it happens. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's pretty much what I have for you right now. So Yeah, so go ahead and make sure to check that out. There are also tons of videos of us playing Rogue Company, doing some real oh, yeah. weird shit. Um, it's, it's always a good time. Uh, if for any reason, though, you enjoy hearing my voice, you can catch me over at the Gimmick Minute Wrestling Podcast, where me, Jason, and Kevin shoot the shit on what's going on in the wrestling world. Everything from the Wednesday Night Wars, AEW, WWE, and even now Impact Wrestling. So go check that out if you enjoy you some wrestling. And if you would like to support my channel... You can click the little link below for tpublic.com where I sell shirts of our logos on them along with other designs like the one I just put up which is the band Ghosts logo combined with Ninja Turtles and it's got the spirit splinter coming up out of the fire from the, the 90s movie. So go check that out. I greatly appreciate it. As always, please make sure to like and subscribe. But not only that, leave us a comment with what announcements you're excited for, or if we fucked something up, or if you have something to add, or if you just want to say hi. I'm not picky. It helps the algorithm, and I don't do much with my day, so it gives me someone else to talk to aside from Jamar. Uh, <laughs> Mike, we're perfect. We're yeah, perfect. We're, we're perfect. That's we don't fuck comment. anything up. Uh, <laughs> if you enjoy our faces, though, hit the little bell to get notified when our videos go up. Modern Toy Fair news will go up on Fridays, and Modern Toy Fair reviews will go up on Mondays and now Wednesdays, because I do two reviews per week. Man. Wednesdays is hit or miss. This one went up on Thursday just because I wanted to wait to review those. But that's <laughs> not the point. Uh, if for any reason you don't enjoy our faces and just want to hear our wonderful voices, there is an audio-only version of Modern Toy Fair News available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Pocket Cast, Spotify, and other podcast app you know and love. So check that out, and we will see you next week. Same toy time, same Toy Fair channel. Thank you for watching. <laughs>